A little more than a week ago, this woman, Iman al Obedi, snuck into a Tripoli hotel and stepped into the global spotlight with allegations of rape at the hands of Gaddafi troops. Ever since, the regime has tried and failed to get her to recant her story. They've tried coercion, confinement, bribes to her family, threats against her, a televised smear campaign, but she continues to resist all of that. And in all that time, she's been able to speak to her parents. She could not even connect by phone because the regime has cut off landline and cell communication between East and West. Tonight, thanks to satellite phones and a lot of hard work by a lot of people, she connected with her mom. Here's a portion of that conversation. Iman, I know you have not been able to, to speak to your mother. We think we now have her uh, on the phone. Uh, feel free to talk to her now. Hello? Hello? Hello, you with the floor here? خلاص. 
حتى في الليل ما ترقدش لما نرقد في الليل نوض نصلي الناس كلها تنوض في الحوش اللي راقد عندهم كلهم ينوضوا مخلوعين نقعد نحلم فيهم انهم جايين يقتلوا فيا Aisha, what do you want your daughter to know? إن شاء الله يوقفوا معاك الدول الأجنبية كلها وقفت معاك الدول الأمم كلها موقفين معاك العرب والدنيا كلها وقفة معاك إن شاء الله ربي يكسرك إن شاء الله تروحي طيبة وقويتة أعطيني كلام باتي ها؟ أعطيني كلام باتي باتك راقد من بدري واخد دواء وراقد Please be careful. Please stay safe. We'll continue to be in touch with you, and we want you to be able to, to say, say goodbye to your mother and, and, um, and, and, and uh, say whatever you want. Hello? <laughs> Iman, I'm sorry. We're we're we're, we're going to have to we're going to have to go. I just okay, want you to be able okay, to. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Stay strong. Goodbye. Just you know, the actual conversation went on a lot longer, and obviously we let them uh, discuss uh, as they wanted.